Hello everyone, welcome to your random reading. This is for Aquarius. How are you guys? I'm sorry your video for the weeklies was messed up. I uploaded it several times. It was stuck in a loop. It wouldn't process. And I know people were wondering what happened. If it ever happens again, no, it's going to be there. It's okay to leave a little message, you know, checking. Um, I mean, it's possible I could forget to make one public, but it has happened, I think, once before. Um, but yeah, sometimes it's just technical difficulties. So here is your random reading that you've been waiting for. So the question is, your love interest, your person, why do they come and go and are non-committal? Okay, they won't make a commitment. Yeah, Eight of Swords. This is someone who keeps coming back around. You're kind of trapped in this energy here. Okay, someone who keeps coming back around doing the same thing. It's yourself. You may be doing the same thing as well. <laughs> yeah, see? It's often an energy where you're sacrificing and giving. You're giving a lot to this person. So it's, a, again, that same energy of someone who keeps coming back around for that love because you're loving and nurturing and caring. You're giving them what they need. Okay, so they don't really need to commit. So it's about breaking that cycle. Yeah, see, it's that physical attraction. So, it's, you know, they are attracted to you, absolutely. You see, yeah, they come back for that passionate new beginning. <laughs> yeah, they are attracted, but yeah, nine of cups. So be careful what you wish for here. Okay, if you're trying to manifest this person, it's telling you to play it safe, be a little cautious. Okay, yeah, keeping it kind of cool here. Uh, it's an energy of you putting in all the work, and they're not really putting in the effort. Uh, they come in and put the effort when they want something, uh, right? Uh, nine of Swords, yeah. So it's an energy where it's probably stressing you out. And, you know, it is a message of uh, you deserving better, absolutely, here. But it's telling you to break free from this. If you're going to put any effort into it, do something for it yourself. Uh, you're wanting something. You're indulging them. You keep indulging them. Don't indulge this person. Don't give them what they want, okay? That passion, that... <laughs> mm hmm I feel as though this person is somebody who's eventually going to uh, regret this, but, and I'm going to tell you why. Um, I, I feel it's because they don't want to put the effort in. You know, they're letting you do all the work. You, they don't have to do anything. So make this person work for it uh, with that Nine of Swords. Uh, there's definitely some fears here, okay? Definitely a little bit of fear. So I do feel this energy of ending a cycle, the habit, this pattern, you know, getting off the emotional roller coaster. Uh, I feel that it's likely what you're going to do, but I feel like you're, you know, you're stressing out about this a little bit. I think this person's got some unfounded fears too. Um, but I feel once you end it, they are going to regret it, not putting in more effort. See, there they are, soul searching. This is somebody who's on their own path. But it's also yourself doing a little soul searching, looking for clues and answers as to a why. Um, but I feel it'll be them because they're going to regret this. You see, because you're no longer giving, you know, you're not going to give them what they want. They're not indulging you. They're not giving you anything that you want here, at least definitely not enough. Same old energy. Yeah. So let's have a look here with this Eight of Swords. Why they keep coming back around. Yeah, unrequited love. They have, there's feelings. There's definitely feelings here. It's unrequited. They keep coming back around. But don't. it's telling you to make them work for it. You see, they don't want to work for it. <laughs> um, and they, it's possible they work a lot. They have a lot of stress. They, you know, could be a lot of things. But really, it adds up to kind of excuses. But they are someone on their own path, uh, kind of doing their own thing. Yeah. Looking for clues. They're soul searching here. I, You know, I feel this as someone who feels that they put a lot of effort into it. Things won't go their way. You see that something's going to happen. It may end. But it's this on and off and back and forth. Um, yeah. So there it is. <laughs> yeah. So someone who comes in suddenly out of the blue. All fiery and flirty and passionate. and But I feel eventually it's been there, done that. You're going. I do feel like you're going to see this. You see? The nine of cups, they offer one cup, nothing more. You're the one putting in all the work. You're giving them everything they need. They don't really need to commit. 
See, there's the birth. They find you very sexy and attractive. Oh, yeah. But see, it's when you're open. But I feel what's going to happen here is uh, you're, you're going to stop giving. The Empress only gives. This is about loving yourself first. The Empress only gives one cup. Okay. Give them a little bit. <laughs> there's the transformation. You're going to go through a transformation, a change here. Yeah. You're going to be changing this energy. This is somebody who definitely needs to see they're not they're playing it safe too there's something they're not telling you they're not telling you something or they're just telling you what you want to hear you see um a little scorpio energy i feel so there's a little you know what's so interesting with the transformation the scorpio energy what popped into my head i've said it before give them a little sweetness and a little bit of fire <laughs> <laughs> right yeah don't be afraid to be a little little sweet and sour there is what you need to do make them work for it mm -hmm. uh, i don't know if this person's ever going to change but we'll see yeah they definitely do work a lot they're more focused on their money than their love life so it's an energy of somebody they're just you know like i say they're not telling you everything they're keeping a lot of things to themselves or they just tell you what you want to hear so they can get what they want so yeah, a little bit of a sweet talker possibly too. But I feel here, see, it's about making a choice in love. Now, this person may have choices, okay? But I feel this is also an energy of someone who's playing it safe. They're being cautious. They're not saying too much where it's going. Um, it's sort of like they're le they leave it up to you. So I don't know if you're the one uh, inviting them over or uh, making the, the date or whatever it is here. But you see, it's that, that physical connection, that physical bond. They don't want to put the effort in. They're more focused on their money, you see. This is a person who's generally pretty um, stable. A little Virgo energy. This is someone who's probably definitely likes their space, but... Now, I, I feel this energy of choice. I think this person has feelings. They regret. This person's going to regret it if you end it. They're going to regret it. Uh, I can see it not making the right choice, telling you how they felt. See, it has to do with regretting, not putting themselves out there, being more emotionally open and available. See, there's that energy. It's going to end. I feel like you're going to probably get off the emotional roller coaster. Yeah, see? This is also someone who wants things to go in their favor. You see, they want to be single. So someone who just wants to have a good time. Um, I feel it's just unrequited love energy. But it doesn't mean this person's going to change because I feel they want to be single. They're kind of just happy where they're at on their own path, doing their own thing. But they are so, if you do end this, you do stop giving them what they want, they're going to regret it. Okay? Yeah. Look at that. It's probably already happened. See, there's that energy of taking a leap of faith, taking a risk, Aquarius. Uh, see, they, are, they do think about marriage and commitment, but they're more focused on their financial foundation. But there's no foundation here. Okay. Um, I feel this person is somebody who kind of sweet talks or tries to get you to invite them to your home too. You see, they kind of um, look at that. <laughs> and it's an energy of taking a risk. See, this person's afraid to take a risk. Um, so I feel what's going to happen, you're going to take one last look over your shoulder and end this with this person, or at least what you're going to do to get things to go in your favor, you see, they're, you're going to stop giving them what they want, which is that passion, right? For those of you who've taken things to that level, uh, stop indulging them, okay? Because it's time for this person to give you something you want. Yeah, they do soul search it, but this is yourself too, I feel, you know, it's the energy's here looking for clues and answers. Um, you know, one last look over your shoulder, you're getting off this emotional roller coaster. They need to take a risk, a leap of faith. They're afraid to risk something. I feel they kind of have everything they need. Um, you know, their house and home. I do think they're a little bit of a homebody, but I think this person's starting to, you know, think about commitment. I got to be honest here. Don't, if you want things to go in your favor, you can be open, you can be kind, gracious, loving, you can be nurturing, but you do not have to indulge them. You don't owe this person anything, okay? So always remember that. Like even if they uh, take you out for dinner or take you out for a date or invite you somewhere, you still do not owe this person anything. Yeah, the wheel of fortune, the on and off energy. It's about flipping things in your own favor. The empress is very good at that. The empress just says, you know... <laughs> 
the empress is kind, you know, generally. Not that, the, you know, the empress can, is somebody who will speak up when the time is right, but it's that energy of a little sweet and sour. The empress knows how to teach someone how they want to be treated. See, there's that energy of truth, victory, and success. That was here since I was here. So it's about seeing the truth in the situation, that little aha moment, you see. Yeah. This person needs to tell you the truth. And that has to do with something. Some of you, i got to be honest, they could be living with somebody. They may have a choice. Uh, they may be going through this on and off, trying to make a choice themselves about their own life path. But for most of you, I think this is someone who's a little bit of a loner. They definitely need a lot of space. It could be something to do with their house, their home, their financial foundation. But there's something that they want to tell you. I actually feel this is somebody who's... Um, I, I'm going to be honest, I, I feel like they're thinking about it, you know, especially if you stop giving them what they want. They like to be indulged. Now, it's possible the truth, too. This person may, um, they may drink. They may be keeping that from you, not telling you. Tell me about the Prince of Swords. Yeah, see, it's an energy of balance here. Uh, it's energy of a head over heart. There's a little something that's off balance. It's not fair, you see, because I, I feel, I mean, we've got the, we have the King and Queen of Cups. This person, someone here, see, they keep coming back around doing the same thing because you're doing the same thing. They don't have to put any work. They don't need to commit. <laughs> I'm not so sure this person's uh, in a relationship or living with someone. They could be. Uh, they may have a choice here, but it has to do with love. Um, they're looking into the future, you know. This is somebody here who's definitely all about their money. They're perfecting their craft and their skills, so they're very good at getting what they want. <laughs> yeah, they... Let's have a look at this King of Cups. There we go. Yeah, see, on and off, back and forth, same cycle. Um, telling you... Yeah, see, it's a soulmate connection. This is definitely a soulmate connection. I feel you've drank from each other's cup, um, but I feel, you know, and also with this energy, um, there's been something shared here, but it's on and off. So, yeah, and it's also possible that someone, they have a choice and they come towards you and then when you don't indulge them and get give them what they want, they get a hold of somebody else here. Eight of Pentacles. Tell me more about this love. A little Gemini energy here. A little Scorpio. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. little Aries. There will be some little Scorpio energy, uh, possibly. But look at this here. See? Um, it's about whether you're right for them or not. It's about justice, balance, marriage, playing fair. You see? This person's not being fair. You're doing all the work. No, another, this person is someone who tries to keep their life balanced too. And I, I do feel they're on their own path, but they're soul searching their path in life. Um, you know, it's sort of like a where to from here. Tell me about the Ten of Cups. Give me some more on that. Yeah, see, this is someone who reaches out to, to you, right? They reach out. This is a person who, uh, slow moving, somewhat of a procrastinator at times, or there's just a little mischievous energy where they... Uh, they reach out and they just sort of say just enough of what they need to say. Uh, they're careful. They hold back some of those words, you see. Say only what they need to say so that you will give them what they want. Yeah. But they're looking at this. They are, I'm going to tell you, they are thinking about commitment. It's not like it's not on their mind. See, they're cautious careful what they wish for here you see this is the thing they reach out they want you to indulge them and every time you give them what they want they're going to keep coming back around but they come in out of the blue fiery and passionate some of you it's a been there done that where i feel like you know you're you're kind of and it's all, also this person they've likely been married before um they may not want to they may just want to stay single but they are thinking about this leap of faith <laughs> Wow, Aquarius. Tell me more about this Eight of Wands. See, it's multiple opportunities. They may have other opportunities because I actually feel this is someone who, if they 
if they're talking to you and they get another message, they'll go, they may even have another person. So it could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, somebody else here who gives them what they want, you see. But I feel that's just an energy of not giving somebody everything they want till they give you something that you want, okay? Uh, you want some kind of uh, commitment or um, definitely I can see this energy of this energy of commitment and marriage, but um, I don't think there's even a solid foundation built here yet because this person is on and off and back and forth. And it may even be with another person here. It's possible there's another person. Uh, it's not, I'm not feeling it really strong yet. But yeah, someone who keeps coming back around, see? You're, you, if you keep allowing it, they're going to keep doing it. Yeah, see, it almost looks like this is something that's going on, not just with you, maybe another person. So, yeah, there we have, yeah, somebody with maybe a little Aries in their chart or Scorpio. Now, this is a person who generally knows what they want, and that's why I feel it. Someone who's taking a long time to figure out what it is they actually want, too. Um, I do feel they work. Uh, they could be a business owner, someone who's definitely focused on that, but they're now making plans for the future. They're looking at the details. I think there's feelings here. Um, and if they have been going back and forth between two people, um, they, they're definitely feeling something. I can see it. Um, we got three kings here, so yeah. I, you know, it's also an energy of someone who makes a lot of excuses. So they, it's a tendency of, it, it's, it looks like all one person. Um, they kind of make up excuses or they come in and tell you a story, right? Kind of tell you a little bit of a story here. <laughs> the excuses, right? Um, trying to explain themselves, yeah. So there's definitely some energy of conflict, obstacles, yeah. This person has a lot of drama. Um, I, I, I feel like this is a person who has other people competing for their attention. Uh, I feel if there's been some drama or something happens, this person comes back. It takes a while. They come back around um, and apologize for the conflict, the chaos, or whatever that's happened here. This is someone who likes the challenge, though. Like, they kind of like that. Yeah, they're, I don't know who the heck they are, but <laughs> I see some lovely qualities here. Um, but yeah, I, I'm not so sure this is someone who actually wants to get married, but they're thinking about it. Um, see, they're manifesting here, but they kind of manipulate, you know, a little bit of a play on words. Um, yeah, they, I feel they'll just come in and tell you a story, sweet talk you, um, you know, or they make up those excuses, right? Uh, it's like they got one foot in the door and out at all, all times there. <laughs> yeah. Mercury energy communication, see, it's the way they communicate. The way they are, see, this is an energy of compromising. I feel there's an energy of three. I do, and because we got the Wheel of Fortune, um, the Empress energy, uh, the Nine of Swords twice. I, I, I feel for some of you, some of you definitely has been going on for a while. But I feel at some point here, uh, you're going to have enough of this. You're going to start to think about going down a new path, finding someone more compatible. Now, it, they, there could be an ex, excuse here of something. They're, they're also very creative, but they could be making an excuse about work. I'm working late or I got to work. or and, and that could be legit, uh, definitely with that energy. But I also feel it's an energy of this person um, See, the energy is a person. Magician's very creative. The magician has all the tools, but I think this person's a master manipulator. Uh, they're good with coming up excuses. They have that story, feel sorry for me. Yeah. Poor me, I gotta work. I work so much. But, you know, like I say, they likely come in and apologize or um, sort of try to explain something here. But I feel as though you're going to move on here at some point. Some of you, yeah, they have another person and they're on and off between you and this person. Okay, if they don't give, if you don't give them what they want or whatever happens here, there definitely is this other energy. But some of you, you've just been, you've already uh, ended things with this person at some point. And, and then it starts over, I feel. They come back around. So, yeah, see, there you go. Yeah. 
You know, and I do think you're going to leave this person behind. And I feel like you're going to take that risk. Now, the, rip, the risk here for yourself is to take that leap of faith uh, and get off the emotional roller coaster. Okay? Because if you, it, like, it's, this, this reading could have been done technically in, in several cards, but um, I like to dig and make sure lots of people viewing. If you take the risk uh, to speak up and you start to see the truth in the situation, there is no foundation. There's no commitment. Yeah, they think about it, but <sighs> this person, it's not showing what their real issues are here. Maybe, you know, they feel like you're not compatible, you're not the right person, Aquarius, because I, I do see they have possibly some Libra or Gemini in their chart. Uh, some of you may have a couple people, it could be a couple people that you've got something on and off um, going on, or you've had that happen before. So, see, it's an energy of somebody being a little bit of a player, being a little bit sneaky, manipulating here. Um, maybe you've you know, I feel like it's telling you to take that leap of faith, take the risk and just get off, you know, just push the stop button. Okay. I really feel like that. But I mean, you got to decide for yourself, look at the facts and be logical. Um, this is definitely someone who's really good at manipulating. And I, they know just what not to say and what to say. Uh, I do think they play on your emotions and try to make you feel sorry for them because you're so kind and compassionate and so caring. You see, tell me more about the seven of swords. It's also a person who doesn't really want you to get away too, because this is my, the one that got away somebody. And if you have two people, there is someone who feels that way about you. Like you're the one that got away. So there could be another energy here where you've had this other, this happened before. Tell me about the seven of, yeah. Yeah. So there you are, Aquarius. If I say Libra, it's because there's definitely a Libra energy, Gemini, but there you are, yeah. See, this is where you get off the emotional roller coaster. You're figuring this person out. You might even call them out. Yeah, there it is. Thanks, but no thanks. Uh, speaking your truth. See, the Empress energy, you're not a pushover. It's not. It's about sacrificing and not giving. It's about speaking up, not being too passive. Uh, maybe that's yourself too, not wanting to say anything to hurt their feelings because you're hoping this is something that goes in your favor. The only way this I feel this is going to, they want things to go in their favor. They're trying to figure out how to get what they want without giving you anything. Okay. <laughs> uh, you've got them in their head, I feel, if you're still dealing with them. But uh, I feel it's an energy of uh, this. You've got a person who feels they missed an opportunity with you. But I feel also some of you are missing other opportunities. With all this messing around here, uh, this, you know, sneaky behavior. But it's definitely the energy of the one that got away. This is what you want. You want to um, call them out or just... Tell them thanks, but no thanks. Not interested the next time they communicate. Don't talk to them. Don't communicate. Um, let them feel they've missed this opportunity. Don't, you know, that's what the Empress does. It's that feminine energy. Teach them how you want to be treated. You see, they need to come in right. They need to treat you right. Yeah, same old story. It's not easy to do that. It takes a lot of strength when you really like somebody because you feel as if you don't give them what they want, then they, they're they the one who's going to end it and run away. But, you know, it, it's gonna, the outcome's always the same because whether you do or don't indulge uh, this person, I feel it's always going to end up the same because if they really like you no matter what, they're, they're going to keep coming around. And I, I feel like you've got this person who's got feelings. I feel they have some regrets for not telling you the truth. But eventually you're going to be the one regretting um, giving them what they want. Then they reject you, you see, on and off, on and off. It's emotionally draining. So this is an energy of, see, feeling pretty beat up here. You know, looking back at all this hard work, the effort that you're putting into it. And it's looking back. Um, and it's an energy where you're just about to give up and here they come again. So the on and off. I feel like it's telling you to speak your truth. Don't be so passive. Don't, you know, don't give them so much. Yeah, see, it's an energy of failing to recognize, failing to see. Feeling unsure whether you should or shouldn't if you take a risk. I feel if you take this risk, okay, 
you're not going to know till you try. <laughs> and I also feel, too, it's taking off the rose-colored glasses, the blindfold. I do feel you've got someone here who's quite attractive. Um, you know, I feel like you're quite drawn or attached to this person. But tell me the two of swords. Yeah, see, it's keeping you waiting. They're keeping you waiting uh, here. But while you're waiting, this person could be, you know, seeing somebody else here, I feel. For some of you, definitely. Others of you, I don't really feel that's the issue. Um, it all depends on how much time is in between. So I, I feel it's an energy where eventually it's too late. You're getting bored. The ship has sailed. And that's why I feel like you got this person who feels you are the one that got away. They feel they've missed this opportunity and they regret. Okay, they have some regrets here. So, yeah, there's some news there for some of you, who they are, because there's definitely a few energies. Tell me about this Ace of Swords for Aquarius. Yeah, see, somebody keeping their feelings to themselves, drinking their own tears. Uh, I, I actually, it could be yourself for some reasons. It's here, it's the energy. Uh, drinking your own tears, being too passive, not telling them how you feel. So don't be afraid to speak up, okay? Take the leap of faith and speak up. Use your words here, okay? Because, uh, you know, with the Empress energy, being kind and gracious, but it's good to speak up and speak your truth. But I feel this person, I feel they're drinking their own tears because you're the one that got away. And that's, I feel, what the how the Empress would kind of handle this and in a lot of ways would be to just get off that emotional roller coaster and start looking elsewhere. And don't be afraid to let them know you're not waiting. You're not waiting for them. Uh, they need to come in right. They need to treat you right. You deserve better. And uh, especially if you've been, I mean, if this is someone who comes around and you cook for them and you're kind and you're compassionate and you show you care and, you know, you're there for this person. But uh, I don't think this is somebody who's really putting in a whole lot of effort. And I think they're going to regret not putting more effort in and actually committing. Now, it doesn't mean marriage. It means committing to the path at least that you're on, uh, at least building a foundation um, giving it that honest try, right? Success. That's what I feel. If it's if this isn't a successful relationship or something works, I do feel they're concerned about money, um, definitely. But I feel they're keeping their they're drinking their own tears here because they're regretting this. You're not. It, it's like I feel it's already here. See, and it has to do with taking it to the next level. They should have took this to the next level. You see, or maybe they're for some of you, yeah, they may have had a choice, but this is where you're no longer waiting. You see, now this person, I feel at some point they're going to be in a hurry. They don't really want you to get away. So I can see the energy changing as time goes on, but that's after you um, get off the ro roller coaster. You push the stop button. You know, I'm not playing anymore here with the Seven of Swords in this. I'm not playing anymore. This isn't fun, okay? It's emotionally draining. It's exhausting. Um, you know, it's time to get out and, and look elsewhere. Yeah. So I feel this person feels it's too late now. The ship has sailed. You see? Um, this is, it, It's an energy also, not just where it is happening, where that's how they're going to be thinking. <laughs> this is a different kind of reading here. Uh, all the same stuff, but a lot of little different things. Two of Wands for Aquarius. See, you are marriage material. See, we have a we have a power couple here. See, but it's an energy where you're no longer comfortable um, with this energy, with this person playing around like this. No more playing around. St stop button. Uh, it's an energy of being practical and sensible. Now you're see what's going to happen too if they come around. You're now focused on your own money. Okay, building a foundation. Um, you know, you're doing, you, you're going through some kind of change here, I feel, um, where eventually uh, you are going to look elsewhere, but you may not feel the same, like it'd be too late, you may change and not feel too same, because that Empress is here, and I see the transformation, you see, and that's telling you, a little sweet and a little sour here, and that's the difference between the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Swords, energies. Yeah, definitely the, there's the energy of the power couple. Uh, more focused on your money, not so much focused on your love life, uh, too. What's gonna, that's where the too little too late comes in. 
where you're no longer really waiting or while you're waiting you're focused on your money and then they come back around and you don't feel the same so uh, this is something you need to give this person food for thought right um, is to let them know you're not messing around you're not you're not going to be played for the fool okay and I do think they feel like a fool and I feel like they will if you push that button it's it's a risk it may not work but how long are you going to stay in this energy is basically what it's saying you know because I see a, uh, somebody with some beautiful qualities I see someone here who's uh, practical and sensible um, very balanced I feel I feel like you you know you're, you're balanced here I feel like you're more balanced than this person but I, I feel like they're just not uh, treating you right and I do feel that there's some feelings because it's here it's unrequited love they've not told you um, and it's because if they do then they have to take things to the next level you know that's the commitment once those once those words are spoken those feelings you see <laughs> once they're out in the open <laughs> so it's about uh, waiting patiently yeah you can be patient while you're focused on your money some of you may if you're more focused on that you're not uh, just focused on your love life okay it's about balance again here just and that's within yourself um, not focusing so much on your love life focusing on your money your home uh, your own life and you're no longer giving this person attention, you see, because it has to do with timing. Uh, that three of wands is there, the timing. Maybe it's somebody where the timing is, isn't right. They're waiting for the right time. But how long are you going to wait? So it's, it comes along with the energy of the person who makes excuses. They tell you a story. Oh, I'm so sorry I haven't um, talked or communicated, you know. I've uh, been working a lot. I haven't had a lot of time. Uh, and maybe they do. But somebody here will make time for you, okay? They need to make the time. And you're probably making time for them. You probably work just as much, uh, some of you, as this person with their excuses. <laughs> you see? Mm-hmm. So there we go. See, uh, lack of reciprocity, which where you stop giving to this person. You see, you're going to stop giving because they're not reciprocating. Uh, there it is. See, they need to build a foundation. Uh, I, I got to tell you, I feel like the, a lot of this is them drinking their own tears because you're the one that got away. That's how they're going to feel. Um, but it's possibly you're both waiting for each other to say something. So they come and they go. I feel there's a couple people where you've had this happen a couple times and I don't, it just feels that way for some of you. Um, but I definitely see some, somebody possibly making a commitment, at least to the path to build a foundation. Uh, that's a little, you know, that's more solid. Now it's possible, like I say though, it's somebody waiting for you to invite them to their home where it's time for them to invite you to theirs. Okay, so... Yeah, they're, um, if somebody won't invite you to their home or they won't take you out or they only want to come to your house or any of that, then you know there's something to be a little bit suspicious. I mean, sometimes two people just like to hang out and be alone, but um, I don't know. I, I feel with the Queen of Pentacles, you're going to start to get a little uncomfortable um, and not focus on this person quite so much. One more with the Queen of Cups and we'll wrap this up. Yeah, see, it's about healing and releasing. Taking a little bit of a break, see? Taking a break here uh, from dating. Um, maybe just this person. But it's about the thoughts that pin you down. Uh, it's about healing and letting go of all this. Uh, I feel some of you have got a person here. You might even have uh, someone, uh, something new here. It's possible. I'm not seeing the sun, but that doesn't mean anything. Because I do see the transformation. It has to do with the way you're conducting yourself. It's Sometimes it's an energy like what you put out there comes back too. So, um, But yeah, I, I feel this person is going to reach out at some point here. I'm not so sure you're, for someone who's coming back around after a long period of time if you're really that going to be that interested. <laughs> some of you, yeah. But I think you got the one that got away. Yeah, see, a fresh new start, a new opportunity. Um, now, this could be a message, a communication, or an invitation. Uh, it's coming. Okay, Aquarius, yeah, you got some changes. There's some changes. But it, if you, it's about you being open to love, but also conducting yourself differently. You want 
the the reciprocity you want to, it's about finding out how someone feels before you uh indulge them in anything other than um friendship or you know like friends first queen of pentacles is here you know so what a reading let's see what the outcome is you got some good things happening i would have to say i i feel like you know who it is aquarius i do i feel like you know who they are um, there's definitely a couple energies here uh, and it one of them really does see you as the one that got away the other one they'll if you the long as long as you keep giving them what they want if it is someone who comes back around and it starts over again okay and you don't uh, use that empress energy that power it'll happen the same thing will happen okay so but the other person i don't know it looks pretty good here <laughs> yeah so there it is friends family and guides see it's getting together with friends family and guides um trust it's an energy of trusting your intuition little messages uh, maybe asking for a little support from friends but i see a six i see movement you're likely going to uh, connect with someone they're probably in your social circle but just trust your intuition okay it's going to guide you those little messages you know the red flags <laughs> But the Empress knows how to flip things in the Empress's favor, too. If you got somebody who's kind of non-committal, you can try just not giving them what they want, indulge in them. Sure, you can hang out, but don't let them know, too, where you stand. Don't be afraid with the Queen of Swords. So let them know where you stand. You, know, you deserve to be treated right. So, yeah, so there's an energy of family, family, friends, and guides. Interesting. Maybe there's children involved here, but it's also this card is, yeah, it's like the Six of Cups. Um, I feel, now there could be somebody who has a relationship, another family. Uh, they may be keeping it to themselves, right? Or like I say, it could be yourself wanting that. Um, and, you know, sitting up the, with the Three of Wands, waiting patiently for somebody who yeah but you've got this opportunity you've got the ace of pentacles you have an ace of swords i feel like you're almost there uh, with somebody here the six of cups could be a sense of longing and loss wanting family uh, or someone who misses you but it also could be this person coming in um, and i feel uh, it could be any one of these two to be honest but it's an energy of someone who's going to show you they like you by doing sweet things. And it could even be a new crush uh, as well. There it is. You're going to, you've got three cards of family and friends. So, yeah, I, I think you're going to meet somebody here. Um, also, too, with the Empress, let people know that you're single. You want to meet someone. You may get invited to something here. Um, it's possible, that, you know, there are children involved here. Maybe that's what this person, you know, they're waiting for the right time. The timing's not right. They have children um, and they work a lot. And they don't have a lot of time. So, but yeah, and the family and friends. So this is interesting. So you're either going to meet someone through family and friends here or they're in your so social circle. Okay. Or you have a, somebody crushing on you here. But I feel we have this power couple, and that's usually pretty undeniable energy between two. So take care, you guys, okay? So be smart. Be wise, okay? Be the empress. The empress isn't a pushover. The empress will only wait and take so much, and then all of a sudden, yeah, out comes that, out come the words. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, guys, where this is exactly going to go. i got to be honest, but there's a lot of energy of friendly family and friends here so uh, more than likely you're going to get some opportunities and invitations now it could be you have someone who's making excuses taking a long time to introduce you to their friends and family or their children so looks like it's going to happen all right uh, keep your chin up be the empress and we will see you soon